Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss eVPN VXLAN. In last session, we discussed what is VXLAN, why VXLAN as a solution, and how VXLAN tunnel is established. VXLAN is an overlay technology that allows us to extend layer two domain over layer three transport. As per this diagram, we are extending VLAN 20 from building one to building five over layer three transport. Overall, we can say VXLAN is another way of encapsulation Mac in UDP to extend layer two domain over layer three transport. VTAP, VXLAN tunnel endpoint. VTAP is a device that is a start or endpoint of VXLAN tunnel. VTAP is responsible for encapsulating the traffic and decapsulating the traffic. As per this diagram, VTAP1 is encapsulating the traffic and VTAP2 is decapsulating the traffic. We do VXLAN related configuration on VTAP, like VNI mapping. VXLAN network identifier. In VLAN environment, we used to have 12-bit VLAN ID, which is used to identify the VLAN or a broadcast domain, right? Same way in VXLAN environment, we have 24-bit segment ID, which is known as VNI. VNI is used to identify VXLAN segment. There are two type of VNI, L2 VNI and L3 VNI. Please keep in mind that in VXLAN environment, VLAN is locally significant and VNI is globally significant. NVE. NVE is a tunnel interface which is logical representation of VTAP. Now, let's start with eVPN VXLAN. eVPN VXLAN is a combination of eVPN and VXLAN. eVPN is a control plane technology and VXLAN is a data plane technology. I am assuming that you have good understanding of control plane and data plane. Control plane is the logic that control forwarding behavior. For example, routing protocol, data plane. Data plane is also known as forwarding plane. Data plane is responsible for traffic forwarding based on control plane logic. Let's talk about this with example. Let's say host one wants to communicate with host two. Host one and host two are in same VLAN, VLAN 10, but they are connected by layer three transport. So how we are going to get the traffic from switch one to switch two? Answer is, switch one and switch two, how to create a tunnel with each other to send the traffic from host one to host two over layer three transport. This is what VXLAN does for us, okay? You may have question that how switch one knows to build a tunnel with switch two, right? This is where eVPN comes in picture. We have different ways to discover VTAP, like flood and learn eVPN. In this session, we are going to focus on eVPN, okay? eVPN uses MPBGP to exchange layer two information and 
layer three information. I am assuming that you have good understanding of MPBGP and address family. As you know, address family allow us to exchange different type of root information like IPv4, IPv6, VPN v4. Same way, we have new sub address family called eVPN that will allow us to exchange eVPN routes. Okay, now let's understand a bit more about control plane learning. Let's say underlay is up and running. Also, we have configured BGP eVPN between devices and peers are in established state. So when any host comes up, it will send GR to inform that I am here. GR is advanced notification, which is used to update others that this is my MAC address and this is my IP address. When leave switch receives GR, then it will learn the MAC address and store it in MAC address table. Also, it will learn IP information and store it in ARP table. Now, this MAC and IP information will be stored and advertised as a eVPN route to eVPN peer. In our case, it will be advertised to spine one and spine two. Then these spine devices will advertise eVPN route to all other leaf devices. When leaf device receives eVPN route, then they will update their database accordingly. In this way, we are advertising MAC and IP information using eVPN control plane, correct? So overall, what's happening here is, LEAF will learn the MAC address of directly connected host from ingress frame, like ARP, GR, DSCP. LEAF will advertise this information using MPBGP eVPN control plane. Remote LEAF, LEAF 2 and 3 will receive this information as a eVPN route and they will update their database accordingly. Same process will be repeated when any other host comes up, whether it is coming up on LEAF 2 or on LEAF 3. This is called control plane learning. Hope you understand that. Okay, let's say host one wants to communicate with host two. Host one and host two are in same VNI. When leaf one receive the traffic from host one, will encapsulate the traffic and will directly send it to leaf two. As leaf one knows that host two is behind leave to via control plane learning, right? This is how eVPN work. Hope this session was useful. Thank you.